Hello, student. Uh, welcome to this uh, topic, electricity and magnetism. And uh, in this session, we are going to study the determination of uh, high resistance uh, by leakage problem, and we'll also solve some problems. Learning objectives to study the principle and the procedure to determine the high resistance by leakage method, the factors on which the deflection in the BZ means ballistic galvanometer depends, and the concept of leakage across the parallel combination of capacitor and resistor will be studied. And session outcomes uh, uh, to derive the expression for the high resistance through leakage method, and the importance of the ballistic galvanometer in determining the value of high resistance will be understood. And understanding the concept uh, through the solved problems. Prerequisites, we should know all these things uh, before going to this chapter. Charging and discharging of a capacitor. Any capacitor, when it is connected to a battery, it charges uh, to the voltage uh, uh, to the uh, to the level of its capacity and uh, uh, the the potential of the voltage may be high but uh, the the capacitor will uh, charges to uh, the value which uh, to to the maximum extent uh, to which it can store the ch uh, charges and discharging of a capacitor means uh, once the capacitor is charged uh, and if it is connected across any resistive medium, then whatever the charges are, uh, are uh, there on the capacitor, uh, they will be leaked through the resistor. It is called as the discharging of the capacitor. And concept of leakage current, once the, once the capacitor is charged, let us say it is connected across the across a resistor. Once the resistor is connected across a charged capacitor, at that time, uh, you think that the battery is removed, which, which, uh, which uh, by which uh, the capacitor was charged. So what happens uh, in the absence of the main current, some other current will flow through the circuit. That, is, that means uh, across the resistor. This, this current is called as the leakage current. And time constant RC, this product of this resistor and capacitor is having the, the dimensions of a time, and hence this product is called as a time constant. And the relation between capacitance, charge, and potential is given by C is equal to Q by V as usual. And the principle of ballistic yellow meteorology we have studied in the last uh, session that whenever the charges are moving through the across the galvanometer it shows some de deflection and uh, the magnitude of the deflection is proportional to the amount of charge flowing through it so that is the principle of a uh, moving coil uh, galvanometer and this is the uh, circuit diagram to determine the high resistance by leakage method in the figure we have shown the uh, a circuit diagram for this experiment. So here battery is there, it is having an EMF of E. Here this is the K1, and here the ballast, uh, ballistic yellow meter is connected across the battery, and here also another key is there, it is K4. And uh, here a two-way pin is, uh, is connected. Uh, by with the help of that, it can be connected to either the point, point A or to, to the point C. And uh, next, uh, a combination of this capacitor and uh, resistor, which are in parallel, they are connected across the battery. So they are connected across the battery. And here, another key, K2, is inserted. Here, K4, one more key, K4 is also inserted. So totally there are four keys are there. And here, 
how this experiment is done uh, very simple it is uh, it is conducted in uh, two parts in the first part of the experiment what we will do here uh, this k1 is closed k2 made open k2 is open k1 is closed and at the same time k3 two way pin is connected to, connected to bc connected between b and c so under this conditions what happens this part of the circuit uh, is uh, completed so this outer part of the circuit is completed that means uh, we are uh, actually connecting this capacitor to this battery so what happens uh, after some time uh, this capacitor is gets charged to its uh, maximum value so then uh, what happens let us say next what uh, what i will do i will uh, open the key k1 and uh, this k2 will also be open and uh, now uh, this uh, this uh, two way switch is connected between a and c it is connected between a and c with k2 open so what happens now the capacitor is connected across the uh, this uh, ballistic galvanometer the capacitor is connected across the ballistic galvanometer so immediately what happens uh, uh, this capacitor gets discharged uh, through the ballistic galvanometer so because of the flow of charges across the ballistic galvanometer a deflection is produced in the uh, in the in the bg and uh, that is noted down so that uh, that uh, deflection is taken as a theta naught and the whatever the voltage dropped uh, across uh, uh, bg uh, is uh, is uh, is taken as a v naught that means uh, v naught is the voltage uh, uh what is developed across uh, this capacitor when it is charged first time so this is the first part of the experiment so we charge the capacitor by connecting by closing k1 and connecting b and c part so the capacitor gets charged to its maximum value next uh, uh what happens uh, this uh, connection, uh, this K2 is kept water, uh, kept open, and a connection between A and C is made. So this uh, charge capacitor discharges uh, through the galvanometer, producing uh, uh, some deflection that is taken as a theta, theta naught. So in the second part of the experiment, what we are doing, again we are charging uh, this capacitor by connecting by keeping by keeping the k2 open and connecting this uh, connecting uh, these two points b and c so this part of the circuit is again completed and this capacitor is charged to its maximum value once again and once the capacitor is is charged what happens uh, now i will keep uh, k1 open and connect the uh, points uh, a and c this part of the circuit is connected a and c are uh, joined and this k2 is also closed so now what happens uh, this capacitor will discharges through the this high register as well as uh, uh, this ballistic galvanometer so now uh, the leakage current is having two parts some leakage current will flow across this uh, resistor and some leakage current will flow across the uh, this uh, bz so what happens after some times actually uh, the maximum current is discharged through the resistor but still some uh, current flows through uh, this uh, across uh, BZ, and because of that reason, it produces uh, uh, some deflection. So that is taken as a theta. 
So theta is a deflection produced uh, during the leakage of the uh, capacitor. So just so this is called as the second throw. So in the first throw, uh, the capacitor discharges through the galvanometer gel only. So it gives a deflection that is theta naught. In the second throw, the capacitor discharges through this resistor as well as the diastatic galvanometer, and the deflection produced in the galvanometer is taken as a theta. So this is what we are doing in the experiment, and this experiment is a over. So all these things are explained here. And now I'll go to the equation part. So therefore, uh, this is the first throw. In the first throw, uh, the capacitor uh, completely discharges across the galvanometer. galvanometer. At that time, the, the theta naught is the deflection given by the galvanometer. Uh, so, the, so this V naught is the charge uh, developed across the capacitor is proportional to this theta naught. And in the second time, that means when the capacitor, capacitor discharges uh, through the high resistor as well as the ballistic galvanometer, at that time, another in that uh, at that time, this deflection is produced. Uh, and uh, at that time, the voltage uh, produced, uh, developed across the capacitor was V1. So uh, you just take the ratio of these two, we can take, uh, it becomes V0 by V1 is equal to theta naught by theta 1. Let's say, let us say this is equation 1. And let Q0 and V0 be the initial charge and potential of the capacitor, and Q and uh, V, the corresponding values after T seconds. So this is. Uh, already explained. So at any instant of uh, leakage, when K2 is closed, uh, we are, I am applying the KVL to that part of the circuit. That means uh, this. Uh, so when I closing the K2, K2 by opening K3 open, uh, this part of the circuit is closed and uh, I will apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law to this part of the circuit and I will write uh, this equation. So this equation is uh, Q by V plus IR is equal to zero. So Q by V is the potential drop across the capacitor and this is the potential drop across the resistor. So the net, uh, the net voltage is equal to zero. Because uh, this is equal to zero because the battery EMF is not there in the battery. So, now i is also given by uh, i is equal to dq by dt and you substitute here this equation becomes q by q by v plus uh, dq by dt uh, into r is equal to zero so next what happens uh, you rearrange this equation this becomes uh, dq by dq dq by q is equal to minus uh, and dt by rc that means you have to take this uh, this uh, term to the rhs then you have to rearrange the terms uh, and uh, now integrate that equation integration of this is equal to minus one over rc integration of dt and integration of uh, one by q into dq is the log of q to the base e and uh, integration of dt is t so it is minus t upon rc plus k where k is the uh, a constant of integration at a t is equal to zero at a t is equal to zero q is equal to q naught that means uh, uh, q naught is the initial charge uh, present on the capacitor so therefore what happens uh, this term goes to zero and uh, thus uh, k becomes equal to log of uh, q naught because at t is equal to zero q is equal to q naught so k becomes equal to log of q naught to the base e so should the value of k in this equation so this equation becomes uh, like this and you take this log of q uh, naught to the base e term to the lhs so that becomes log of uh, q minus log of q naught and using the logarithmic rule so that is written as log of q by q naught and this is equal to minus t upon rc or uh, i will uh, reverse the ratio of these these two charges uh, so I will write this as Q naught by Q so that uh, the negative sign which is present here it vanishes. 
so uh, rhs is divided by rc so from this equation you write for register or uh, resistance r is equal to t divided by c into log of q not by q or uh, this is written as uh, t divided by c into 2.303 this comes because uh, here it is in, uh, here the logarithm is uh, natural logarithm uh, to convert that uh, uh, to the base 10 we have to multiply by 2.303 so because of that reason this factor comes uh, and now the logarithm is to the base 10. so also we know that uh, q0 by q is, is equal to v0 by v for the capacitor and uh, from equation v naught by v is equal to theta naught by theta so therefore in this equation in this equation q naught by q was there so in this way this q naught by q is equal to v naught by v and the in term this is equal to theta naught by theta so that therefore that q naught by Q is written as a theta not by theta. So it gives the expression for a high resistance value by leakage method. So a graph is plotted. A graph is uh, plotted uh, between uh, ln of theta not by theta and t as shown in figure two. So figure two is uh, here. So this is the figure two. It is a plot of uh, ln theta not by theta versus t and a slope of, it is a straight line and slope will be calculated so that slope is equal to ln of theta naught by theta dot by t that is equal to 1 over rc so this equation this equation is equal to 1 over rc r you write for r this is equal to 1 divided by slope into c by equating slope is equal to 1 over rc so this is 1 divided by slope rc thus the value of high resistance can be determined by knowing the values of slope and the capacitance value so now we'll see the one problem a capacitor of capacitance 0.5 microfarad is discharged through a resistance of 10 mega ohm or find the time taken for how the charge and the capacitor to leak given log of this value is the log of 2 is given and q naught by q is equal to 2 because actually it is q by q q by q naught is 1 by half but in the equation q naught by q is there so it is reversed so just you substitute all the values like this and uh, this is obtained the time is uh, obtained so a capacitor second problem a capacitor of a capacitor of capacitance one microfarad is discharged uh, through a high resistance uh, the time taken for half the charge on the capacitor to leak is found to be 10 second uh, calculate the value of high resistance so this is a direct equation we have derived the uh, expression for the re high resistance in this way just to substitute the values to we'll get the resistance value so it is given by 15.8 mcq the loss of charge method is used to measure the high resistance as just studied and using ballistic galvanometer which quantity can be determined by leakage method high resistance is calculated measured capacitor leakage current depends on which of the following factors dielectric material potential charge and none so it is depends upon the dielectric material actually because uh, uh, depending upon the dielectric strength or the uh, permeability of this dielectric material it stores the charges so therefore if a higher number of charges are stored in the dielectric material then higher will be the leakage current so therefore uh, leakage current directly depends upon uh, the type of the dielectric material which is present between the two plates of uh, the capacitor so here another problem is there it is also a direct problem 
and you just calculate work out this one also and damping of the ballistic galometer is made with, made small to get uh, first deflection large so actually the in, in the present uh, case uh, that uh, uh, key k4 is there use of that uh, k4 key is to get the first deflection large or whenever some oscillations are there uh, in the deflection to stop the oscillations uh, that uh, that uh, key k4 is uh, used so it's the summary of this session on the, all these things uh, we have studied and uh, these are the books uh, you can go through and thanks for listening